was getting my GED, I felt like that's when I really, really felt like I was going to go to college. Like during high school years, I, I wasn't even really thinking about it. I just dropped out. Didn't care as much as I do now. Today is March 14th, 2011. I received my GED scores, and I, which I have not passed yet. <laughs> I'm working on my reading now. I need a high, higher score. I'm shy 30 points. I'm feeling, I don't know, confused. I'm really study harder. So this is the house that me and my family grew up in. It's been changed now. It's been a while since I've been actually inside it. I lived here with my, my dad and five brothers. We would, there would be a um, fence right here. We'd play baseball, just like with a stick and a ball. I would stay here and go to school at West Side Elementary. I liked that school. Yeah, I would always walk. And, in the cold. It hurts. Uh, not sure exactly when, what time he got shot at, but he, he, he got shot March 26, three days after his birthday. Just hearing a loud boom and running downstairs and just seeing my brother in a pool of blood. I was six years old when that happened. Growing up, I'm maturing, and it's just the beginning chapter of my new life. This place brings a lot of memories. It took me five times to get my GED. This is the place where good things happen. This, this got me to college and where I'm at today, and it's a beautiful thing. We are at the dance department at the University of Montana to improve my dance skills. I took modern, now I'm taking jazz. I'm just trying to incorporate it with my break dancing and trying to open my mind to new dance. If you make mistakes, you can always brush yourself off and just continue forward. That's all you can do, you know? Just look for new settings and find that cave. Hibernate for a season and go out. Hidden in the hills, we never gonna come down. Moon shining, we brewing that mountain sand. 